phone today because I don't know why my memory card is full for my camera. Yesterday, I've already actually transferred the files to my hard disk, but it doesn't work. So I have a meeting in about 15 minutes and I just get out from the gym. And yeah, this is what I usually do. If I am running out of time, I don't get back to my place. I just bring my laptop, sit here for about an hour or two. How fast can you type? Like I take pride on like how quick I could actually type. It's like there's an art in typing. There's an art, like there's a way to type. Like you have to place your hand in a particular keyboard so that it's faster for you to type. It's like your thumb should be on the space bar. Like your, um, what is it called? What is this called in English? I don't know. Your ring is supposed to be on the A, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's find out how to type. Okay. Okay, 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 we found it. There, A S D F A S D F like this. Interesting. Mana datang ke dunia ini udah dunia hipis udah dunia hipis belum lihat apa pun sih saya yang pasti bule semua makanya lu betah lu tak semuanya pakai off shoulders ya shoulder lu kalau tetap kalau gak buat di sana Wow. Apa sih ini? later
biar halal close the video this is already like two weeks after that like I think almost three weeks after that Ubud trip by the way I just finished filming this is Sunday so Sunday is always my filming day for contents and I just made salad for myself and I thought that I just want to sit down and chat with you because while editing that video I remember vividly that I was actually pretty struggling that day in that trip simply because I was insecure with my acne okay I'm just going to speak in Bahasa itu kejadian bener-bener sebelum aku pergi ke trip itu jadi pas kemarin itu aku kayaknya makan beef sama eggs gitu um, dan aku tuh belum makan dari pagi jadi aku kayak makan emang lebih banyak pas aku makan lebih banyak itu justru malah bikin aku uh, pencernaannya nggak enak and acne just pop out aku insecure banget pada saat trip itu um, karena acne aku banyak banget di situ just don't feel like myself um, tapi ya udah kayak maksudnya aku happy banget kayak aku pergi sama teman-teman uh, yang super supportive banget they never like mention about my acne if I don't mention it and it's pretty hard you know like I feel like people can judge me um, like oh you're actually eating healthy and like you work out you have this healthy lifestyle but like why do you have acne why do you ha why do you like still struggle with the acne and acne scars and Yada yada yada. It's just confusing to explain that karena kayak I know that I've already done my best dan kadang ya orang ngobrol orang ngomong kayak gitu kayak mereka juga nggak terlalu uh, pengen tahu gitu ya. Cuman kayak pengen nyeplos aja gitu, pengen komen aja gitu. Tapi pada saat trip itu aku kayak langsung benar-benar kayak convince diri aku kayak acne ini ya part of your face aja gitu nggak usah merasa insecure gitu. Um, Even kayak teman-teman kamu nggak nanyain kok gitu dan you know that you are actually taking care of yourself well gitu ya yeah. of course dengan adanya acne ini it's actually a signal that you have to like improve yourself in some ways gitu kan um, tapi just don't make it as a identity of you gitu loh jangan jadiin jerawat itu jadi identitas kamu dan ngebuat kamu insecure dan jangan ngebuat trip itu jadi trip yang nggak enak gitu loh that I constantly say that to myself so oh, wait a second guys kenapa oi aku lagi vlogging kenapa A few moments later. Okay, I'm back and I already finished eating. <laughs> right after I came back from that trip, I actually went to my natural path and I just knew that okay, this acne is actually a signal from my body and like I need to really take care and improve my health and especially my gut health because I know that really this is my gut that is messing with all the hormones akhirnya kayak I went to like this medication yang nanti kalian akan nonton di video selanjutnya currently I'm not insecure with my body anymore like dulu aku pernah di fase insecure banget dengan sama badan aku karir aku insecure sama intelligent aku dan macam-macam punya imposter syndrome dan segala macam 
but now I'm insecure with my face. Yeah, it's okay. It's like insecurity bisa dilihat sebagai sesuatu yang depressing atau bisa dilihat sebagai sesuatu yang untuk memotivasi kita menjadi lebih baik. Right? So yeah, I think I'll just end this video here. I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, if you do, please don't forget to click the like button. Well, aku udah gak pernah ngomong kayak gini lagi. Um, but yeah, I thought like I might just say it there. Subscribe to the channel. Cause like my goal for this YouTube itu at least hanya seribu aja, seribu subscriber by the end of this year. So help me, help me, help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!